Hey guys, time for another uh, little Bronco video. And uh, hey, look, look what happened. So I was out running it around and uh, yeah, servo, steering servo is gone. So I've got one on order and uh, it's gonna be here in a little bit though. So yeah, man, what do you wanna do in the meantime here? How about, uh, how about we paint this sucker, huh? He's looking a little bit, little bit plasticky. And uh, I'm thinking, I think he needs a little uh, paint job here. So I'm gonna start taking them apart and uh, see what we get. All right, well, we just got our nice new uh, lighting set in, but uh, well, we're gonna be taking it off. All right, guys, we got everything taken apart. Let's uh, uh, let's get to painting here. First thing we're gonna do is decide on a color. I got a few ideas there, and uh, I'm gonna start uh, kind of scruffing this up a little bit. Now, there's a few things that I think we can't take off, or at least, uh, well, we'd have to glue them again, is the little, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know what these things are. I don't know if they have a light, turn signal indicator there and the uh, the door handles along with uh, on the one on the back right there uh, those are permanently melted into the plastic I think we're just going to paint those after the fact so we'll leave those on uh, we can just get the Ford and the Bronco sticker off the back there and, uh, and then we can get to painting all right, and so before we get to uh, painting there, at least on the body over here, I'm gonna take uh, one of my finest uh, sandpaper pieces I have, and um, I'm gonna rough it up a little bit. Now, I don't remember what this is, but uh, it's at least like 1600, I think, if not more. And this will help the uh, this will help the paint stick. And I'm probably only gonna do this on the uh, on the body here because uh, it's so glossy. All right guys, I've got them uh, cleaned up with a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol and they're all dried up over here. I'm gonna just hit them with a uh, straight uh, flat uh, Tami uh, uh, spray paint right here as a primer to start out with. So uh, let me go ahead and do that really quick. It's kind of sunny out here in the garage. So I'm just gonna film you, film this just for a second and then uh, I'll finish it up because I don't want to hold, uh, hold the camera and spray at the same time over here. Hope if I uh, if I have it on camera. All right, I'm gonna go over this with a few more coats and uh, flip them over. Get the uh, get the underside and uh, then also get the frame over here. All right, guys, got the black primer in. Let's take a look at this, and uh, ooh, it's looking nice. Get. Uh, Get this put together over here, man. This is looking like a proper, I don't know, a little Mad Max mobile or something like that, huh? With all that uh, black primer. Anyway, now, as far as uh, what we're actually going to paint it, I'll get the roof rack out of here. Uh, the only thing I didn't paint was the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the uh, side mirrors here and the, uh, whatever, bottom of the, uh, windshield there because uh, yeah, yeah whatever I didn't want to take the stickers off of it all right as far as painting we've got a whole bunch of choices over here and uh, you can see what uh, where I'm leaning with this we've got uh, sort of like an olive drab green we've got a couple of those we've got uh, something in between that and uh, sort of like a sandy desert looking color so what I'm going to do 
is uh, take all these out, put them on a little napkin, just a little dab there, and we can get a better look at them. All right, guys, so here's our samples, and uh, yeah, we're looking at uh, sort of a tan all the way up to a uh, olive drab and all the different little shades in between. What do you think? What would you paint it? I know what I'm kind of leaning towards, but uh, uh, I'm kind of leaning towards a little bit more of the olive drab kind of color. Something like that, but I'm not settled in on it. I still haven't made up my mind, and uh, we've got a little bit more work to do on this thing before we actually get there. We're going to do a little bit of uh, pre-shading, that sort of thing, and uh, if you don't know what that is, stick around. You'll see. All right, guys, so we are ready to do a little bit of uh, pre-shading over here. Now, what well, pre-shading is, if you're an armor modeler or anything like that, you know exactly what I'm talking about, what I'm going to be doing over here. But uh, we're going to take a little bit of white and actually just a dab of buff, mix it into our airbrush, and we're going we're gonna to paint uh, the highlights, right? So wherever the sun is... Uh, you know, coming down from the top, uh, the, you know, the higher exposed ele uh, levels or, uh, you know, parts, I should say, my goodness, like the top over here, the top around here, uh, very top of the uh, the hood right there, top of the doors, things like that. We're going to sort of just spray paint them a little bit uh, lighter over there. So then when we get the final coat on, all those little fine little recesses, and a little bit to down low like that, it'll kind of tend to pop out. All right, so let me get the, let me get my mask on and uh, get to spray painting. Alright guys, we've got the uh, pre-shading done, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good. And uh, just having a bright light up here, you can see where the shadows kind of fall right there. So that's what we're doing right there, and I think I've kind of settled in on a color here, or at least I think I have. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. That guy right there. Alright, let's get over there, and I'm going to give this thing a little bit of time to uh, cure, and uh, then we'll, we'll get to painting. Alright guys, it's been a little bit, so that's nice and dry, ready to go, and, and yet yeah, we're going to go with our Russian World War II 4B0FS right there. So let me, get, uh, let me get my mask on, we'll get to spraying. Now I'm going to let that cure up and uh, dry out and then, uh, and then we'll figure out whether we're going to do a clear coat on it for a gloss or a, uh, a flat. I don't know. We'll see. Alright guys, just a final little test fitting here. Um, nothing screwed in. Windshield's still not in. Just kind of taking a look at the, uh, the coloring for it. I'm liking it. And we still got to get the clear coat on it and everything, but uh, I think that's uh, that's good for right now. I'm digging it. Okay, now we're just going to get the final coat of our uh, clear coat on, and I am using a uh, semi-matte, so that's what I ended up with. So let's get that sprayed up.
All right, guys, here it is, the final result. Went ahead and I painted up the uh, door handles and the, uh, you know, little, uh, whatever they are above the uh, headlights right there. Looking real nice. Looking like a true off-road vehicle now here. And uh, as soon as I get my steering servo back in, we'll be ready to go. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it a little bit informative. Don't forget to hit the uh, thumbs up button and subscribe if you're uh, not subscribed. Take care.